pam 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 my name's Wayne and this is beautiful Norway. that one fisherman here in Norway I just popped over the other side and had a go with the law look at that one second chuck through a nice cod he's absolutely smashed and chomped that shad I don't know if you can see the water is absolutely bubbling with fish here it could be herring it might be cold fish it's a bit early for mackerel where we are, but I've got one rod set up, I'm not even fishing yet. Got a set of sabikis, surely if I put this through them, I'll see what it is. I got one, whatever it is, I've got one. I don't know what they are, I think they're cold fish. Now I've got another one, we're in everyone. Bait. Oh, one's just come off. One's come off. What is it? What have we got? A little cold fish. That one's got teeth marks in it. Look at them bad boys. Yeah, that one's got teeth marks. That's why it went heavy. And there we go, everyone. Remember, if you watched my videos before, when I come to Norway, what do I say? If you find a bait fish, you find the fish. We're going to keep doing this for 10 minutes. Jem, I've got a mic, you haven't. Say hello to everyone. Hi everyone, nice to see you. Glad you to be back on Wayne's channel. You didn't literally have to go hello everyone. <laughs> <laughs> She's brilliant, isn't she? But yeah, anyway, we're gonna do some fishing. We're gonna continue catching a few bait. Naturally, that one's a little bit small, so we're gonna put that one back. <laughs> but yeah, we are. We're gonna catch a few more hopefully some bigger ones and get us into the fish. But welcome back, welcome back, Gemma. Thanks. We're gonna do some right. fishing, yeah? Maybe I can see the bite on that. Yeah. That a bit closer. Something had a right go at it. On the way in. So we're going to get the big rods out. We're going to keep fishing. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to wonderful Norway. Chill. Bait wise, we've paid and bought some local herring to match a hatch. We've got a nice box of fresh herring. We've also Got some Joey mackerels and some ragworm this time. If you watched my previous videos over here, I've been against fishing with ragworm because I go big or go home. But on some of the trips, that's backfired. You know, on recent trips, I've just come over with fish baits and fish big and it's not really worked out. <laughs> so I've got ragworm, I've got some smaller hooks. Just like home, we're going to try and get some bites, fish big on one rod and scratch around on the other. I'm going to continue setting up. We've got a bait ball right next to us and things are looking up. And there you go, everyone. Well, that is definitely what you need. That is bait, eh? Definitely bait. That's perfect size. This is, what, this is going to be upgraded to a bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we will get a big rod in the water soon. Right, we've got ourselves plenty of bait, as you've seen. So what I'm going to do now is show you my rig. Today I am using a seven ounce gripper to a splashdown. Then a 12 foot 
up and over. Bulk standard, the same as what we use at home. Up and over clip. Let me just lift this up. It's pretty hard to show you because it's so long. That's what she said. Anyway, and there you go. The top bit is the runner. You know how it works. It's easier to show you when it's on the rod. That loops over like so. And clips in like that. Bait wise, I've got some herring. As you can see, I've chopped it up, turned it inside out and strapped it to my pop-up. I've got a 10-0 circle and an 8-0 J-hook. Let's get it out there. Let's go. Well, I'm not saying we're going to catch, but we've got the bait fish, which are just everywhere. So it's a good sign. The mark we're fishing is what we call transit mark. It doesn't really hold the fish all the time. The sea is that way. We're in a fjord and the sea is that way. So the fish come round. Sometimes you can come here, catch 50. Sometimes you can come here and blank. You know this. It's easier for me to show you my rig working now. I'll bring you in closer. So for people interested, my rig body is 130 pound and my hook length is 90. There's bait everywhere. There's got to be some fish here. And there you go everyone, look at that. Let's do some fishing. Nothing fancy. I've not had a cast or anything on these reels and I've got a new line. What could go wrong? I'm just gonna flick it out. Hang on, let's ch double check. Mag's on full. I should have had a few casts. I just got excited. Remember, it's super deep where we're fishing. Well, that's not that deep. Not there, I put it right on the sandbank. I normally fish a little bit further. One in, one out. Next one, I'll have two or three casts to straighten the line out. And this one, I've just got a little bit excited, but you don't know, it could be fish running right in tight. Anyway, hear that noise? That's what we want. And what I'll have to do is tighten up the line. Even though it's not super deep out there, the line's gonna drop slack. We've got plenty of tide. Jim, we've got loads of tide as well. Oh my God. Tide, fish, bait, fish, no fish. You know how it goes. Wow, we've got proper tide. We don't normally get tide here. Right, I'm gonna get the second one out. I'll bring you back when we're fishing. Cheers, everyone. We got my second rig. I'll leave you on the rod. Yeah, all right, yeah. There's a fish there, everyone. Don't worry. I'm going to leave this one, just in case. Yes, there's a fish on there. It's going off down tide. And there we are, we've got tide, we've got bait fish, and now we've got fish. Tide is ripping. It's 
Something like that. I don't think it's a big fish. And then we're on the fish, everyone. First cast in Norway. We've got tide, we've got bait fish, and now we're on the fish. It's, it's a cod. It's not as small as I thought. Jim, you're gonna. I'm gonna have to get down, aren't I? Watch your camera then. It's all right. We're in a fish. <sighs> on the cod, I'd say. Do you want to bring the camera over? Yeah, yeah we've got colour. Got a cod. Not the biggest. That's a fish. It's <sighs> a nice fish. And there you go, everyone. March 24, and we're on the fish. First cast, just like that. <laughs> Look at that. That's my popper. And there we have it, a nice cod. Probably, I don't know, four pound. Not the biggest, but a fish munching machine. Look at my pop-up hanging out. He wanted that. Oh. Something's had a pop at that one. It's got bite marks. Really? Yeah. Now. Stop swearing, Gemma. I don't know what's wrong with this doctor. She keeps swearing. <laughs> Look. Got you right down there. Something's yeah. had a bite on that. Look at the teeth. I'm not sure if you can pick it up on camera. But if you've not seen my videos before, you have different types of cod. This is what we call a fish munching machine. And there we are. That's how we roll. Anyway, I'm not saying nothing. I've got six more days. But my rigs work, and it works. We know this anyway. There we go. Just so you know. Look at that. As you've seen, I just flicked that out as well, so I'm going to do the same. I'm not going to belt it. Let's go. Let's get this one a little bit further. Not too much further. It's out in that middle. just coming up to high water so now's a great time as you've seen first cast we've got some tide we've got some fish hopefully there's a few more want a big one yeah we don't want no babies coddling anyway i'll sort the next one out let's try and get two rods in the water as you can see, we've got a big shoulder cold fish right underneath the jetty. Can you see them all, Jan? Yeah. Look at, look at them. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can pick it up. I can see them and I've hooked them. Yeah. Oh, this is brilliant. There we go. That's what it's all about. <laughs> I didn't want to walk off the back of the jetty then. You're alright. We've got two rods no, in the are. water. Whoa. We've got bait fish everywhere. We've got tide. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. What I'm going to do now is continue setting up a third rig, get a bait on it, because I think, well, I'm hoping we're going to get into the fish. We've definitely got a chance of a nice cod today. We may have a chance of a, a bycatch halibut. But as I said, if we catch one, we'll get down, we'll unhook it straight away and get it straight back after. Naturally, a quick photo, but look, this is Norway. It started off pretty well. Hopefully it continues for you and I here 
out in Norway. Wow, that's carnage. Now I've got two rigs in the water, or two rods. I've made a third one up and I've baited up nice and slowly. So let me show you that. The first two, I just quickly wrapped it up, got it out there, and as you've seen, it worked. But this one, I've taken more time and I've got it how I want it. So there you go, look. That's how I want my bait. Well, everyone, I was just flying the drone, messing around. I've got a massive slack line. My tip went over and the fish is coming towards me. I'm not sure what I'm dealing with here. Oh, no way. I've caught up with it now, but I'm not sure what it is. It doesn't feel very big. Oh, what just came off? Oh, that was so weird. Oh, oh record place did that. Look what it's done. Yeah. That's a halibut. Was it? I think so. Well, it's flatly started. Yeah, look. Oh, look at that, everyone. It's turned my hook and absolutely now there. And there's my circle out there. Oh. oh, I've just pulled that out of the fish's mouth. Oh, we got a chance. <laughs> oh no. Well, that is what you call a monster turned hook. That's unbelievable, my hooks, if you have a look. You can't move them. That's definitely a halibut, everyone. Can't flatten that hook, you can't move it, look. It's just crunched it. Completely crushed it. I was flying the drone, my rod just went down and then just went slack. The fish, my bait was up there, you see me cast it, it's the second one. And it was down here. It's swimming round, that's why my, my circle hook was that far away, so it was right down in its stomach. And the circle hook was stuck on the outside, which is unbelievable. I've never had that happen before out here. Man. Oh well. There's a first for everything when you're fishing. I knew it was a weird bite. It went slack, obviously the fish didn't know it was hooked. Well, it wasn't hooked. Normally, when they know they're hooked, they just rip off. Ah, well, we live and learn. Right, let's get this one out. Oh, get this one out there. Same place as before. This time, yeah? That was right on the money. Hey, we've been fishing for about an hour and I've had two bites. So as you've seen, I had a turned hook. That was the first cast I put out this morning and I was rushed, as you know. Maybe it's my fault. But if you look at that one, I've got the circle hook bound in and through the bait. On the first one, maybe I didn't, and the fish come along, nailed it, and pulled the circle hook out, which the fish won't be able to do on this one. But that's fine, first cast, a little bit excited, I'm just like you at home. I'm not an expert. Well, you might be, I'm not. Hey, welcome back everyone. Welcome back to rainy Norway. It's raining cats and dogs. Well, I don't know if they say that over here. It's raining elks and mooses. There you go. We've got some nice tide pool now. It's pulling from right to left, so it's completely switched round from when we got here this morning. I've just had a microwave banger and mash. I was probably better off <coughs> eating the packet, but it tasted nice. Oh, I've got some, I've got some weight. We might have an edible crab, everyone. Or we might have a little bit of, 
weed. We've got something. I don't think it's a fish. If it is, it's a dead one. It's coming in like a turd. Oh. But yeah, it's fun. It feels like a fish, like you do with the kids. Put a weight on them, say like, wind it in. That might be a crab. It's nice to straighten out the line. It's not a fish. It might just be weed. Oh yes, there's some weed. There you go. Ding, ding, ding. Nice. We're on the weed. We're not really. Anyway, well, I'll leave you live. Let's cast out. Let's do some fishing-y stuff. That's what I meant to do, isn't it? It's not all about catching. Oh. Yeah, any minute it can go off. That's what it's like here. A shoulder herring can come in. And then you just, honestly, it's unbelievable when the fish turn up. You can have no fish for five hours and catch three halibut and 15 cod in an hour or two. That'd be a bit unrealistic, wouldn't it? But you know what I mean. Right, let's plop this out there. Fresh bait. Nothing fancy. Oh, that's slippery out here. Little flick. Spladoosh. I just wound the second one in. That's freshen up. The tide's ripping. Look at the other one, it's pulling right round. So what I'm gonna do, just like at home, tide's coming from right to left, so I'm gonna cast up that way. Let a little bit of line out to take the slack to make sure our baits are held firm. Oh, sorry, the leads are firm on the bottom. And with the tide, with it up and over, it should pop up perfect. The trouble is with an up and over rig, if you've got no tide, sometimes it just ends up in a shitty heap and then I will switch to a pulley. You need to tide when it releases and it's following the lead, you need to tide to make the bait land away from the lead, if that makes sense. I didn't really explain that too well, but I think you know what I mean. Let's give this a little flick at that, up towards Gemma. There you go. Out in that tide. And to be honest, I won't even wind that in any of that tension. I'll just let it sit in that tide. There you go. Anyway, it's coming up to four o'clock. What we're gonna do, Gem's quite cold. We're gonna go back, get some food. It's just coming up to low water now. And we've not really had any bites for about three hours, but that's fishing. You know this. We're gonna go back, get warm, charge everything up, get a hot flask, come down again, probably about half six. It doesn't get dark here till seven o'clock at the moment. Come down just before it gets dark and then fish till about midnight, maybe. 11 o'clock, over high. High water is 10 o'clock. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. It's fine. As I mentioned before, this mark is a transit mark. If no fish come through, you don't catch any. And what I mean by that, there's no real residential fish. 
When I come back tonight, I'll probably put a fish bait one out and maybe a rag one to try and get into a haddock, big white in, codlin, yeah, just fish. Try and get us some fish. That's the aims. I've got my lights, we'll light it up, so it won't be much different to daytime, but I should get us a few more fish. I'm gonna keep trying, I'm gonna keep fishing. If I get any action, I'll bring you back. If not, I'm gonna give it half an hour, pack up, and I'll see you when it's kind of dark. Welcome back. Welcome back to part two of day one. As you can see, we're back on the same mark. The sun didn't really come out. I was gonna say, the sun is going down, but it's not, but it is, because we've not really seen the sun. What I'm trying to say is, it's getting dark. I just thought I'd bring you back. I'm gonna sort my stuff out, I've got my rods out. I've not cast in yet, I'm gonna go over there. I'm using the same rigs, fish baits, and ragworm tonight. I'm gonna to use some ragworm on smaller hooks, as you know by now, I'll bring you back. I'll show you what I'm doing. we are like to show up, but hopefully we can get into a few fish. Welcome back. It's six o'clock. It's getting dark and we've got a chance. Here we go. First rig, ready to go. The water is completely full of bait fish, coal fish. They're everywhere. What I'm going to do is just light myself up. Wait one. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, I'm like a pro now. Anyway, as you can see, you seen my rig earlier, I've got some herring to pop up. On the other one, I've got a little bit of contraband. I've actually bought myself two and a half pound of ragworm, so I'm cheating. What I'm gonna do in a minute, I'll bring you back, I'll show you how I'm gonna bait up some ragworm on 10 circles and a 10 J hook. But look, for now, I'm gonna get this one in the water get it popped up for hopefully a big fat cod. That's enough of that. Let's do some fishing. How you doing? You still watching? Well, if you're watching, you're watching. Yeah, two bites, one cod, as you've seen. And then I had a halibut run, I believe, and missed it. Look at this guy. Come on, mate. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, I swore that made me jump. Jesus. Look at the size of that. Kong Harrod. My missus calls me Kong Wayne. No, I'm lying. Ooh. A little bite then. Check out the left arm rod, the furthest one away on the ragworm. It's gone away. How can that happen? It's back. The fish is back on the ragworm. If it goes again, we're having him. Come on, son. Let's have a look, shall we? I'll try not to blind you, but I need my headlamp on. We're scratching around in Norway. We're in. We're on the fish, everyone. What feels like we are. I've got a bit of weight, but I think we might have some of that kelp 
I've probably got a fish as well. If it's just a fish, it's a good one. I might be alright now. Sure, we got everyone. Oh, I got a fish. What have I got? Oh, no, I haven't. Got a weed fish. Damn it. I thought I had a fish then. Got some weed there. Anyway, we're getting bites on the ragworm, as expected. I'll sort this mess out and I'll bring you back. Just had a run. There you go. Oh yeah, buddy. Yep, it's a fisher. Come on, five pound white in everyone, yeah? Wish me luck. <laughs> Come on, what have we got? On the A2 scratching rig. It's taking me down tide. Yeah, we're in. We're in. I don't know what it is, but we got a fish. We got a dead weight. Might have missed it. I don't think I did. It's taking nine. Yeah. We're in. Yeah, it's definite cod, I think. It's head shaking. On the rag round. The cod love rag here as well. Going against the tide. It's a good sign. Let's turn my headlamp off a minute. Try not to blind you. If it's a good fish, I've got a mate with me who can jump down. Oh, it's a nice fish, yes. Bit of head shaking going on. I got any colour? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I did cast this quite far, so. It's not a five pound white in. <laughs> it's a cod, I think. Still can't see it, everyone. But it's going mad. I can see colour. It's a cord. Here it comes. Yes. Nice cord. Right, he's absolutely nailed it. Brackers, can you come here, mate? Hi, everyone. This is my mate Lee. He's on camera. If you do that mate, you can either hand line it up or look, no, walk back, that fish is a nice fish though. Eh? Yeah, I'll hand line it. Should be alright. If we get any massive ones, we'll have to get down. Here we go. This is fish. It's a nice fish, yeah? And there we go everyone. Oh. Thank you, mate. And there we are. It's not a five pound weight in. It's a nice cod, though. Let's bring it round and show you. On the ragworm, he's absolutely nailed that. Oh. And there you go, everyone. There's a beautiful cod here in Norway. Look at that. It's a big kelpie. If it is daylight, you'd see that is a beautiful orange fish. We got him on the circle, right in the kisser. Anyway, we're on the fish, on the scratching rig. I just popped over the other side and had a go with the lure. Look at that one, second chuck through. A nice cod, he's absolutely smashed and chomped that shad. What I'll do now is I'll bring you over, we'll have another go and I'll show you. I thought, I'll have a couple of chucks on the lure and bang. 
There we go, we're on the fish everyone. It's gone a little quiet on the bait rods, but we've got two hours till high water, and now is definitely the time we can get into a few of these beautiful Norwegian cod. Oh, my ratchet just went there. I'll keep you going. We're gonna keep this one. He has absolutely smoked my shad. Oh my God, these hooks are amazing by the way. Just don't want to put my hand in there. I'll keep you live. Come on. Gemma's taking this one home. There you go. And there's my lure. I've got a fish on there. It's pulling down. Anyway, put that down. And there you go everyone, there's my lure, what a belter. Right everyone, I've done a bit of a school by error, I've done the outro before winding in, we've been joined on the jetty by some crazy Russians, but they're alright, I think they just might kill us in a minute, but I've just sorted my stuff out and my, my rod's just pulled down. I know never really to do an outro until my rods are in, and I've done it this time. I've put my camera away and everything. And now I'm into a fish. It's a big weight, but it might just be some weed and a fish. Lee, you want to help me, yeah? Yeah, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Here you go, hold that. It's a good fish, yeah? Yeah. Oh, and there we are. Oh, well, that's a pretty fish. Oh, he's got teeth. All right. And there you go, everyone. That's a beautiful cod here in Norway. I should know better. I put my camera away. Turned all my mics off, picked the rod up, lent into it, and it just pulled back. I thought, oh no, I put all my stuff away. But look, what I'm going to do, carry on packing up, but that is a beautiful fish here in Norway. Cheers, everyone. Thanks, Mr. Cod. So what's your name, anyway? David. So here we go. We've got David all the way from Russia. Yeah. yeah. Well, Estonia. Estonia, yeah. Yeah, and they've come down. You to having a few beers? Chilling out? Yeah. Um, and now I've just caught this cod. You're going to take it back to your accommodation and eat it today? Nice gift from England. Yeah? Anyway, nice to meet you, mate. Thank Enjoy you so the much. fish, yeah? Thank you so much. Cheers, mate. Cheers, everyone. See you again. Subscribe and like. <laughs> Cheers, buddy.